Hey, hey, so this week we're talking about um, multicultural perspectives encompassing racial things that go on, and we're giving a patient case today, and it kind of talked about a physical therapist and a black female patient on Medicaid going throughout um, a couple of scenes, and from just the snapshots snapshots we were given we weren't given the whole um manuscript of what was said we were just given um snapshots based on exclusively the snapshots it was kind of um like the therapist wasn't too keen towards the patient or wasn't um culturally competent towards her um so he said some things that the patient didn't really like and it the patient didn't really say anything she just kind of like stiffened up and was kind of like er to it um and then it went on to later to talk about how the therapist came up to me and was talking about how um they hate that the amount of Medicaid patients that don't show up and it's costing the business and taxpayers money. Um, that was an assumption that the therapist made. Um, it was not based on any facts and it was asking us what we would do in this situation. And all of this is important to take note on in the clinic because these are real world situations that you're going to run into. You're going to run into therapists that aren't culturally competent towards people and they're going to say some things that um, that might not be the best thing to say and could be um, uh, it could hurt their feelings or step on what they believe in a little bit. And um, I think it's just important to be aware of these things. Um, I kind of took the stance upon um, don't really assume anything. Um, based on what you hear, you need to have the whole story because every with everybody, there's a there's one person's truth, the other person's truth, and then the actual truth. So somewhere between what the patient says and the therapist says is the actual truth. Um, so that's kind of where I take the stance on this. Um, I wouldn't, I was not able to make assumptions based on what the therapist thought or the patient thought because. I only saw snapshots of it and I'm a big component of don't get involved where you're not supposed to. If there was a complete and just thing going on, I would definitely say get involved. But if it's just a little bit um, like kind of dicey, it's not my place to say anything. If I was greatly concerned about it, I would have, I would definitely go and see the clinical instructor, not the clinical instructor, the, um, clinical um, director of the clinic and I would talk to him about it if I was greatly concerned um, and on the um, fact of like we also were asked what would we do if like a therapist came up and was not really talking the best about a patient and one of my friends um, said that it, it's important to call the person and I fully believe this calling the patient to ask them why they didn't show up after this not so great altercation with another therapist based solely on the fact of the screenshots i don't have the whole case like i said but just based on it um i think that would be like the best thing because that can go a long way and there are other people in the clinics that um you can work with so not uh, refusing care is not the right thing to do so i have had this come into um, the clinic in the situation of therapists talking about certain patients and their insurances, not the whole like um, unjust um, statements that the therapists were making, but of the like the talking about like the no shows, the cancels and all that. And I really do take the stance on I'm not going to get involved in that situation. I am a big person of healing words and if what we're taught if what they're talking about isn't like healing towards a patient it's kind of condescending i don't join in i usually walk away from the situation because they're they're there for us to get them better not talk to behind their back so yeah